Uh, just prior to the war breaking out, uh, they formed the uh, Riverina Light Horse Regiment, which is in Narandra, Leeton, uh, Griffiths, Hard Lesson, uh, Borellan, all just this area. And uh, we started with the, the 21st. It formed in Narandra and all these other made, it, made the battalion, like uh, Leeton, Griffith, Farallon, uh, Ardleton, West Wallow, um, who else was there? Both of course, Shulman, and everything the other side of the river was uh, B Company. And every bow company uh, uh, down Gundy Guy was C Company. And then we got up West Wylong, all up there was headquarters. There's uh, Jack Finch from here, or you probably wouldn't know them. Uh, he was used to, they, yeah, Finches used to live where uh, Don Cox used to live up here. Uh, he used to supply all the milk for down Main, with uh, oh, Mr. Finch, and uh, uh, it was Bill Rennie, he used to live up here where uh, uh, Jackie Seedlin used to live. There's two of them, there was two of them where I went, but uh, only one went for the light horse. Then there was Gordon Bryan from here, Drain, there was Jack Richardson from Madong, and uh, we all sort of put our heads together and decided we'd all go and joined up there. And uh, I don't, there's only two, I'm the only one left of the light was here, but uh, I think there's only two left in Narandra. But, uh, I often pick the names up in the paper. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, we had to uh, uh, go and do uh, just ordinary drill on me, our feet. Then we had to go and find some, find our horses. And uh, the horses probably knew more about than what we did. It was amazing because uh, we put, took them into camp at Wagga. And the first day it was there, we had a stampede, and our horses come home. <laughs> so we had to come and get them the next day. And uh, then we shifted from there, and we went to, uh, uh, oh, what, what the hell was it? Just out of, uh, out of uh, Sydney, just out of Par Parramatta, actually. Uh, to a big camp there, there was uh, four and a half thousand horses in that area, and one Sunday afternoon there were three three different divisions there at that time, and uh, he, uh, uh, all the Sydney mob come out from Sydney to look at the horses and so forth, and. Uh, the seventh division was just above us. We were in the middle, and sixth was just below us. And you, you probably been past there, where the big water pipeline goes through to Sydney. Well, we were about as far as me to your tr truck over there. And then on the other side was the railway line, uh, Rudy Hill. That's where it was. And uh, the uh, these kids, they were whoever, they were just taking them off the line to take them down to water and so forth. And we hadn't gone off the line, but uh, or six hadn't either, but they were undone. And uh, a piece of paper blew uh, blew through the horses, and they dis uh, disappeared with the. Uh, 
you know, run over two blokes, killed two blokes, and uh, they went to the water pipeline, and there's only a little bit of a laneway to, over the top. There was 28 horses broke their neck going over the pipeline, and uh, we hadn't undone any of ours. And uh, the old Major, Major Hawk, called KJ, uh, said, boys, saddle up. And uh, we got out saddled up and we went towards Parramatta. You could hear them going down the highway, clatter, 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 with the new shoes on there. And uh, we went over the pipeline the other way. We rode, rode for four and a half hours and uh, picked up different horses that just collapsed, run, went to lay collapsed. And we tied them up and, and you'd think they were dead when they, even if you didn't tie them up. You know, about five or ten minutes after you'd hear clitty clatter come and they come and they were behind us and we'd have to tie them up. And uh, four and a half hours riding, we finished up in Bundanoon. <laughs> so the, the lieutenant that was with us, he was only a sergeant then. And uh, he rang the, the big big bus. He said, uh, where are you? He said, Bundanoon. Bundanoon, he said. No, he said, uh, I think you better uh, start to come home. He said, God, he said, I'm not going to come home in the dark. Well, he said, stop there till morning. <laughs> but uh, the, the, uh, uh, the was finished up before we come out of camp there. Uh, we went through uh, Sydney show. We competed against the uh, Cossacks, and all we had a uh, right royal time. And uh, when uh, they finished up with the whole camp coming out, there's uh, over 400 horses never, never ever found. <laughs>